Good afternoon and welcome to our next in the series of Lenten devotionals. As we move through this season of Lent, you can see behind me, I'm, I'm at, gathered here at the Old Rugged Cross at the Smithton United Methodist Church and, and the, the four candles that are lit, four of the six, uh, represent the four weeks that we have been in the Lenten season. We're in our fourth week now. And during this Lenten season, what we're asked to do is to take stock of where we've been and, and to be in prayer and, and thoughtful uh, meditation about where we feel that God is leading us to in the coming months and, and in the year ahead. But during this season of Lent, I wanted to focus on one thing in particular, and that's on praising God. You know, really truly we can't ever praise God enough and so I I wanted to share there's a number of things that that happens when we praise God uh, and I just wanted to share a few of them with you during this this Lenten season just to recap uh, the first three weeks what we've gone through uh, we've we've talked about praising how praising God gets our focus off ourselves and back on God you know I found for myself that that when I when I have troubles in my life and I take my focus off of myself and try to help someone else that it my troubles seem to fade into the background it's that way with praise when we praise God our troubles seem to kind of fade into the background and uh, and God becomes present with us praise brings us to a place of humility and that's something that's so important to God. God desires uh, to pour out His grace and His love and His blessings upon us, but He desires also for us to be humble in our walk with Him and in our life with Him and accept Him as the leader of our lives. The third thing that we've talked about in the past here is that praise makes the enemy flee. You know, the devil is uh, always whispering, whispering in our ears and telling us sweet lies about what this world can do for us. And they really are lies, uh, what the world can do for us. But, but when we praise God, there's no room in our, in our spirit and in our mind to hear those whispers and he flees. The fourth thing that we talked about was praise leaves no room for complaining or negativity. Man, that's powerful. I'm going to tell you if, if, you, if I'm in any indication of what a normal person is like, there are even times when I've complained to God in my prayers. And I know that's not right. I shouldn't focus on that. And so I get back in touch with him through praise. And when I praise him, then I don't have room for those negative thoughts and all of those negative uh, actions that come along with that. So that brings us to today. And our next two, uh, two things that, that praise does for us, praise is so incredibly powerful. The fifth thing that, we, that I wanted to share with you in this Lenten devotional is that praise makes room for God's blessings over our lives. Hear those words. Praise makes room for God's blessings over our lives. One author said, he won't hold back his goodness and praise opens the gateway of blessings as we come into the presence of God. So when we praise God, we're actually coming into his presence and the gateways of heaven themselves open up for us and his blessings are poured out to us. A psalmist wrote in the 100th Psalm, he says, enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name. And Paul wrote in his letter to the Ephesians, he said, blessed be the God father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. So incredibly powerful. When we praise him, when we praise him, he pours out his blessings to us. Now, the sixth thing is, is that praise actually invites God's presence. Think about that. Praise actually invites God's presence with us. One, one author said that God dwells close to us when we praise him. He lives there. He looks for it. See, when we praise him, it's actually an invitation for God to come and dwell with us. When I say dwell with us, I mean within our hearts, within our minds, we actually begin to change and become more like Jesus Christ. 
which every day we should be striving for to become a little bit more like Jesus Christ, more loving, more grace-filled, more spiritual, um, more, more in tune with God's will in our lives and his leadership in our lives. So I'll say that again. Praise invites his presence. You see, these, these little tidbits as we go through this season of Lent are really powerful for us as individuals if we add them all up and we put them into practice in our lives. But the bottom line is we really don't even have to know what's going on. What we do have to know is that we need to be in praise of him, praise of the Lord. When we praise God, all of these things begin to happen naturally because that's the way God has ordered things. So I wanna encourage you today to praise God. Just and don't worry about what, what it is. Just do it in private. Do it in your private place and, and just tell him how thankful you are and ask him to be with you. Ask him to pour out his love and his grace and his blessings upon you and let him know that you want to be closer to him day by day. Would you pray with me as we end this session? Let's, uh, let's just have a short word of prayer. Wonderful, loving God, thank you for this time together. Thank you for the opportunity to praise you and glorify you during this Lenten season. Remind us day by day that when we praise you, you're with us and that you help us to become more loving and more like Jesus. Lord, I ask that you continue to be with us and bless us and encourage us as we do these things for you. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. So one last look at the the first four candles of the Lenten season on the old rugged cross. We're moving closer to Easter, just a couple of weeks away. The greatest celebration of the year. So we celebrate Christ's victory over death for us. Join me in a couple days as we continue in our Lenten series devotionals. God bless you and have an awesome day. Bye-bye for now.